Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have probably my largest empties that I've ever done. This whole thing is full of empty products. I have been collecting things and just putting them off. I mean, this is at least six months, probably a little bit more than that. And we're gonna go through all of these things. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts, if I would buy it again, if I wouldn't, and why. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. We've got a lot to go through. All right, let's get started. We have a lot of stuff to chat about. I'm just gonna pick something. We'll start with this. This is the Avino Calm and Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser. This I really liked. I really enjoy the Avino line in general. This one has oat in it, so anything with oat typically works really well for sensitive skin if you um, struggle with any type of sensitivity. Usually oat helps with that, and I really enjoyed this. It's fragrance-free. This one is kind of a gel texture, so the only thing with this one is it does not foam. I kind of go back and forth on if I want my cleanser to foam or not. I know a lot of people think they're more drying when they do. This one does not foam. However, it works really well for my skin. I don't use it to remove makeup though. It's not a it's not a makeup removing cleanser. So I would use this as my second cleanse after I use an oil or a balm to get rid of my makeup. But I would buy this again. I did enjoy this if you have sensitive skin. I did like this. I also used up the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. So this is a cleansing balm to remove makeup. I had actually used this in the past and I remembered liking it more than I liked it this time. Um, I actually didn't feel like this did a great job of removing all my makeup. It, it did break it down, but I do remember when I was using this Sometimes I would feel like it left a little bit of a residue behind even after I washed my face and I didn't feel like it got all the makeup off. So I love that it has the oat in it. Again, I love that for my sensitive skin, but I probably wouldn't buy this again, to be honest. It's not my favorite. All right, something that so many people rave about. The Necessaire Body Wash. Not really this product, but I, I feel a lot of people rave about Necessaire in general. And I will preface this by saying this is the only product that I've tried from this brand, but I was very underwhelmed by this. This is the eucalyptus scent in the body wash. And first of all, I wanted it to be a little bit stronger in terms of the eucalyptus scent. I didn't think it was super fragrant. And I also, I don't know, I was just very disappointed in this product, to be honest. It didn't lather super well. And I don't know, I was just, kind of left feeling like, oh, this is an expensive body wash to not be like blown away by it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people like it. I know they make like body creams and deodorant. I've not tried any of that. I've only tried this, but I personally would not purchase this again. Then I have the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. So I struggle with this one because I really love this product. I love the smell of it and it works really well for me. Uh, it's just, it's very expensive for a deodorant, you know? So it's like, do you want to spend the money on a deodorant? Kind of have to decide, but I will say I really enjoyed it. It lasted me for quite a while. And I mean, honestly, if I could just buy whatever, whenever, and not think twice about it, I would buy this again. It works well and I really like the smell of it. I actually did buy a new deodorant to try from Lumi and I haven't been using it for that long, but so far I'm not super impressed. Uh, I don't think it works super well. So I may end up going back to that one just because it works and it smells good. But for now I am trying one from Lumi. All right, then we have the Aven Thermal Spring Water. This is, as you can see, a huge bottle of it. I love this. My husband makes fun of me when I use this at night because he says you're just spraying yourself with a $20 uh, can of water, which, okay, fine, but it's thermal spring water. It's not just regular water, you know what I mean? 
I know some of you know what I mean. So I really enjoy it. It has a really nice mister on it, but I typically use this on nights when I apply a retinol. I will spray my face with this first and then I'll apply the retinol over the top. But it's nice just anytime my skin feels a little bit dry, a little bit irritated, anytime I just want a little bit more moisture when I do my skincare in the morning or at nighttime. I like this. This big bottle did last me a really long time, so I would buy this again, to be honest. I know it's just water, okay? But I like it. Okay, of course, the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella SPF. Yes, I already have three new ones of these. I This is my favorite SPF right now. I have not found one that I like more than this. It's thin, it's lightweight, doesn't smell like sunscreen. It doesn't have a smell at all. It wears well under makeup. I absolutely love it. It's SPF 50, so yes, I have and will continue to repurchase this. Ooh, okay. Next, we have a toner. So this is the rice toner from the brand I'm from. So this is a Korean skincare brand and I know a few months ago, I don't know how long ago, four or five months ago, I shared in a favorites video that I was using several Korean toners in my skincare routine. I'm still doing that and I love it. Yes, it's a little bit excessive, but I really like toners, essences. I love layering them on. I don't know why, but ever since I tried it, I just... I just like it. So I'm still doing it. I did repurchase this. I'm still using this now. This is like a milky toner. So it's really hydrating, really calming, and it just feels nice on your skin. So yes, I would absolutely buy this again. And I have already repurchased it. In fact, I think that's my third one maybe that I've been through with that one. I love it. Same goes for this. This is the Aquel Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. So these two I've been using for months now, at least six months together. I use this first and then this one. This is a pH balancing toner, which I don't really know all the science behind it. All I know is that this has licorice root extract in it and that works so well if you have sensitive skin, if you struggle with dryness, irritation, just your skin not feeling calm, it's feeling very annoyed, very aggravated, this feels amazing. It's like a very nice soothing drink of water for your skin. I've been using this for six plus months and I love it. I'm still using it. I've already repurchased another one. Then I have a shampoo bottle. This is one of the jumbo bottles from Biolage. It's the Color Last shampoo. Mine looks really, really gross because it's been in our shower. <laughs> but um, this was okay. I probably wouldn't buy it again. To be honest, I kind of get bored with hair products. I very rarely buy the same shampoo and conditioner again, unless I really, really like it. This one was fine. I, there wasn't anything I really disliked about it, but I did find myself kind of wanting it to be finished pretty early on before I actually did finish it. You know when Ulta does the jumbo sale? Usually it's at the beginning of the year, I think, in January. A lot of times I get sucked in into buying a jumbo size and every single time I do it, I regret it because I get sick of it before I finish it and then it's like torture to get me to finish it. I'm wanting to like try something else, but I'm trying to finish up this big jumbo size. So I'm trying not to buy the big size anymore, but I like Biolage. I use a leave-in conditioner from them that I really like, but this was just okay. I probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't buy it again though. Next, we have the Billy Whipped Shave Cream. Now, this I actually get in a subscription. I have a subscription to Billy, so you get uh, the razors or the replacement razor heads and the shave cream. Every other month, you can kind of set the duration to however often you want to get them. This is not sponsored, by the way. I know they sponsor a lot of people. I wish it was because I actually love Billy, but it is not. I buy this and pay for this with my own money. I really like this. Um, honestly, there's nothing super special about their shave cream. The only reason I get it is because it keeps me from having to buy it 
when I'm out places. And shaving cream and razors are kind of one of those things I was finding I'm always out of them. I feel like I always need to buy them. So that's why a few years ago I started the subscription because I was tired of constantly feeling like I had to buy them. So this is fine. I like it. I just get it delivered to my house and I use it up. Um, but it's nothing special. I don't think you have to have this. But it's a nice thing to get delivered if you're already getting the replacement blades sent to you. Ooh, okay, this is probably a controversial one. The Ole Hendrickson Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Okay, I got this in PR. I heard so many people rave about this moisturizer, so I was so excited when I got it. Okay, I would not buy this again. I don't see the hype here. First of all, it smells like an orange starburst you know, Starburst candy. Yeah, smells like an orange Starburst. I'm not really sure why we need a moisturizer to smell like candy, first of all. But other than that, I mean, it was a nice, thicker moisturizer. I obviously used it up. I used it at night because it is on the thicker side. But as far as this being like the best moisturizer out there, as I've seen a lot of people saying, I don't really get it. It's fine, but I mean, why do we need it to smell like Starburst, I really don't know, so I would not buy that with my own money. Uh, let's see, Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm, yes. This is my favorite cleansing balm that I've tried so far. I'm using another one right now that I bought just because I ran out of this one and I didn't get around to ordering it in time, so I bought uh, one at Target from Naturium. It's fine, um, but I like this one the best. So this is by far my favorite cleansing balm that I've tried. So I do plan to buy this again. It does a really good job of removing all of your makeup. It's really, really emollient, and it, it just breaks things down really, really easily. It's one that really melts, and you can, you can see the makeup just like melting off when you use that one. So yes, I would buy it again. The CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I do like this. Um, there are times when I use this and I feel like I want a little bit more from it. It almost feels too gentle. It's a very liquidy uh, cleanser. So it doesn't remove anything. So you definitely would have to double cleanse if you use this, if you have anything else on your face because this won't really take it off. This really just kind of very lightly rinses your face and it is very hydrating. It has ceramides, hyaluronic acid in it. It's fine, it's not like a holy grail though. I, again, I get kind of bored with cleansers too, so I would probably buy this again, but at the same time, I don't think there's anything super special about it, but it's not bad. All right, now here's one that I will absolutely buy again. I'm trying to use some things up, so I haven't yet, but I love this. From Naturium, the Multi-Peptide Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer for the daytime that I've tried. I mean, I squeezed every last little bit out of here. It is kind of like a gel moisturizer, but it, it has a thicker texture. So it is a gel, but it's not a super thin watery gel. It's kind of like a cream and a gel in one, which I really like because I'm not a huge fan of the really watery gel moisturizers. I know those are really good for oily skin. I don't personally have oily skin, so I like something a little bit thicker, but I don't want it to be too thick for the morning when I'm gonna put makeup on over the top. This is so good. There's no fragrance in it. I believe this has, yeah, vitamin C and panthenol in it. It says encapsulated vitamin C and panthenol to target the look of fine lines and wrinkles for a more youthful looking complexion. I don't know about the fine lines claim, but I really love the way it feels. My skin likes it. Makeup lays well over the top. My SPF does well over the top. So yes, this I will absolutely buy again. I have another Billy Shave Cream. We already talked about that. Oh, then I have the CosRx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So they've actually changed the packaging on this. It used to come in a jar 
like this. But yes, I have already repurchased this. I love this. It's like the snail mucin, the snail mucin essence in the pump that has been very popular all over social media. It's like that, but it's just a little bit thicker. So I use this at nighttime. But if you want something extremely thick and hydrating, if you have, you know, a damaged skin barrier or your skin is irritated from anything, retinol or whatever, this stuff is so, so good. I will use this after I use like my essence toners like this and my serums, all that. Then I will use this kind of as the last step. And then often I'll put like a little bit of a thicker true moisturizer over the top, but this is so good. If you've not tried snail mucin and you have dry skin, Honestly, I think even if you have oily skin, you would like snail mucin. You kind of have to get over the fact that it's snail mucin, but it, it's really not bad. Once you put it on your face, you totally forget that it's it comes from snails. But I love it, and I have already purchased a new one. Some more repeats. Uh, my SPF, again, yes, I have already purchased them. The rice toner, again, talked about that. I love that stuff. Ooh, okay, here is the other essence that I was using for a while. This is from Skin RX Lab. It's the Made Sarah Cream Double Essence Toner. So this is kind of similar to this I'm from Rice. This is a milky toner. I was using all three. So this one, the rice one, and this one. I did not repurchase this one mainly because this one had a little bit of a smell to it and it's not a bad smell at all. It's like kind of a powdery, clean smell, and it's not anything that's super aggravating or aggressive, but I just felt like I didn't need both at the time, so I just ordered the rice one since it didn't have the smell, but I did really enjoy this, and I could, I could see myself using it again in the future. I have been, or I really enjoy the seven layering method. I, I forget the exact name, the Korean method where you layer seven toners on top of each other. I don't do seven right now, but I can see myself doing seven at some time. I don't know what it is. I just really enjoy doing that and I like how it makes my skin feel. So, oh, okay. The Is Clinical Cleansing Complex. Okay. This is a pretty pricey cleanser. It foams. I would be lying if I said I didn't really like it. I really do. I've purchased this a few different times. I usually wait until I can find it on sale somewhere because it is more expensive, but I will say this is a great cleanser. It does foam, but it does not strip your skin. It does not leave your skin feeling like tight and dehydrated, but it does foam. Sometimes I want a foaming cleanser, you know, but I don't want to dry out my skin. It's really good. If you struggle with acne, I don't personally have acne prone skin, but I have seen and heard so many times that if you have acne prone skin, this is a great cleanser to kind of combat that. I just can't speak to that because I don't know, but I have heard that. Um, so yeah, honestly, at some point when I find it on sale again, if I need a cleanser, I would, I would buy this again. Then I have a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. This one was the Vanilla Scent. I go through these all the time. This was my first time trying the Vanilla Scent and the Vanilla wasn't my favorite. Um, so I, I have not repurchased this scent, but I do love this scrub. This is the scrub I use all the time, all year round. Uh, my favorites are the, there's a lavender one that's purple. I really like that one. And then I can't think of the name of the other one, but the one that smells like the Boom Boom Cream. I love that one too. So I usually buy one or the other. I don't know why I bought vanilla this time, but I love the scrub. I just don't love the scent on this one, but I would buy, and I do buy the scrubs all the time. Then I have a... Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I got this in PR. Um, this was nothing special. It was a clear gel cleanser. I used it up. It was fine. 
I don't really have anything special to say about it. I wouldn't buy it with my own money, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's a gel cleanser and nothing about it was super special. So I would not buy it with my own money. All right, the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Serum. Okay, I have wanted to try this for the longest time. I ended up buying it in November of 2022. I've used this up a few months ago, so I've been collecting this stuff for a while. But this lasted me for, I would say, not definitely not a year, but more than six months between six months and a year, but I was only using it at night and I was only using it like once or twice a week because I was I was trying not to go through it fast because this stuff is very expensive. And like the cleanser from Is Clinical, I got this on sale when I got it. So here's the thing. They claim a lot of things about this. It has growth factors in it that's supposed to do all these things for your skin texture. It's supposed to help with wrinkles, aging, all of the things. I am only 31. I don't have a ton of wrinkles. I also don't really struggle with skin texture at all. However, the one thing I did notice when I was using this is the nights that I would use this, when I would wake up the next day, my face felt like a baby's butt, truly. <laughs> like, that is how smooth my skin felt. And my skin is pretty smooth anyways, but it was noticeably smooth after I used this. And, you know, it should have been because this, like I said, this is quite pricey. But that's really all that I can say that I noticed. I mean, it says helps with sagging skin. I don't really have that yet. Um, enhances firmness. Gives you a youthful looking skin that appears six years younger after 12 weeks. I, I mean, I can't say any of those things about it. But again, I'm only 31. I don't know how much of a transition I could actually see from it. But I do know that my skin felt incredibly smooth and soft every time I used it. So would I buy it again? Yeah, I would when I could get it on sale again. I'm not going to rush out and buy this again. But... I liked it. I, I will say I do really like skincare. I don't, it's not something I talk about a lot on YouTube because I'm not super knowledgeable on it, but I love to try skincare. I like Korean skincare. I like medical grade skincare. I like drugstore skincare. I just really like to try things. So yeah, I honestly, if I'm being honest, I would buy that again at some point. Ooh, this is a good one. This is the manicurist uh, green flash LED polish remover. So I have been doing my nails at home for over a year now. This, that's what, this is what I have on my nails now. It's called Manicurist. It's a brand based in Paris. And basically they are LED polishes, gel polishes that you can do at home. They also make um, regular nail polish as well. This is acetone free, so it's supposed to be less harsh on your nails. And the way it works is you do your nails at home. That's what I have on my nails right now. And this has been on, it's just like a light pink color, but this has been on my nails for almost a week and it still looks, still looks really good. But you use this to remove it. You use little cotton pads, soak it in the remover, put it on the nails and clip them. Leave them sitting on your nails for, I usually do about five minutes. And when you take the clips off, the polish, believe it or not, just peels off. It's the craziest thing. I didn't think it was gonna work when I tried it the first time, but believe it or not, it, it actually does work. I've been doing it for at least a year now and I love it. So yes, I've already bought a new one of these. I did receive my first kit from them, like my starter kit. They sent me that a while ago, over a year ago. But since then, I buy my own polish and my own remover from them. I still buy it because I really, really like it. So yes, I already have a new one of these. I do have a discount code with Manicurist if you want to try it yourself. I think it's Nails Blair. I'm pretty sure. I'll put it up on the screen. But I love it. I've been doing it um, for a while now. Okay, some more skincare. This is a mini of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I loved this. I would absolutely buy the full size of this. I actually forgot 
about this until just now and I saw it in here. I bought this um, a few months ago. I was out of town visiting my husband's family and I ran out of my cleanser, my balm cleanser. So I went to Ulta and got a mini of this. And I loved this. This, I would absolutely buy the full size. It kind of reminds me of the Clean It Zero one, but it doesn't have a scent and it does really, really well with removing makeup. So yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I would buy that again for sure. I also used up this from Summer Fridays. This is the Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. This is the type of cream I mentioned earlier that was very thin and watery. So for that reason, I would not buy this again. That's just not the texture of cream that I really enjoy. I like something a little bit on the thicker side. This was a little too thin for me. However, I do think if you have oily skin, you would love this because it's so lightweight and it doesn't have the oils in it. It's fragrance free, which I enjoyed, and it's a nice moisturizer. It's just not what I personally love using, so I would not, I would not buy this again. All right, guys, we're getting close to the bottom. I have another Aquel toner. We talked about that already. I love that. I, oh, the Ordinary Multipeptide Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I would not buy this again. This was just very thin, very, I mean, it's a hyaluronic acid serum, but I just didn't, it didn't do anything for me at all, really, that I noticed. So I used it up just to use it up, but I didn't notice anything noteworthy when I was using this. So kind of boring and not something I would buy again. Then I used up this Good Molecules Pressed Cold Rosehip Seed Oil. This I would absolutely buy again, and this did not last me very long. I guess when I bought it, I must have bought the mini size. I thought I was buying the full size, but this has to be a mini because this did not last me long at all. But what I use this for is in the morning before I do my skincare, I will use a little bit of this with my gua sha, and that's what I use with my gua sha tool all over my face. I like to use an oil with it because it just helps it glide and so you don't tug and pull on your skin. I like to use an oil and this is the this is my favorite one that I've tried. So yes, I would buy this again. Um, I would just buy the full size next time. And then I used up the Biosance 100% Squalane Oil. I probably wouldn't buy this again. I don't even, I've had this for a long time. It looked, it took me a long time to use this up. I use this for the same reason that I just mentioned with this. I use this with my gua sha in the morning and it's fine, but I wouldn't pay the money for it again. I mean, it's just 100% squalene oil. I would use rosehip seed oil instead. Um, I don't remember why I bought this exactly. I've had this for a very long time. It took me a really long time to go through it, but it's fine, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and buy it again. Oh, I forgot about this too. This is the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This was sent to me in PR. Now this one I did also enjoy. This one has a really strong eucalyptus smell though. So if you're not a fan of eucalyptus, you probably would not like this one but if you do I have to say this smelled really good I don't mind the fragrance as much in like a cleansing balm because you're just gonna wash it off so it doesn't really bother me and I love eucalyptus so I would buy this again it removed makeup well so I actually would buy that one again just a few more things here the Skin Medica TNS Eye Repair. Okay, so this is from the same brand as this, this expensive serum. This was also very expensive. The TNS Eye Repair. I liked this. It was a nice, thick eye cream. I only used it at night. I didn't see anything miraculous with this, though, and it was... I don't remember how much it was, but it was probably $100. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. It didn't do enough for me to want to buy the same thing again. I love eye creams and I'm always wanting to try a new one. So it would have to do a lot for me to tell you that I would buy this again. It, it's just okay. It's fine. It worked. It lasted me a long time. I will say it lasted me about a year, 
but I didn't notice anything significant. I think this claims to help with dark circles. It did not. Fine lines and wrinkles, which I don't have a ton of, so I can't I can't really say if it did or not, but I don't know. I was underwhelmed by it. I would not buy it again. Actually, the one that I want to try now is the SkinCeuticals AGE Complex, I think is what it's called. I've heard good things about that one, so I'm trying to go through a few other things before I try that one, but I wouldn't buy that one again. I have two of my clear City Lips from City Beauty. Yes, I absolutely love these. I already have, I think I have two backups of these. These are such a perfect lip prep product before you do makeup or even if you just want to hydrate your lips. This adds moisture, a little bit of shine, but it also really does kind of plump out your lips. It makes them look more smooth if you have a lot of lines in your lips. It really does make your lips look better. It really does. It doesn't hurt or sting or anything like that. I love it. Highly recommend these. This is the one product that my mom tried. I think I mentioned this in a video, but my mom hates everything. She literally finds something wrong with everything. This is a product that even she will use and says that she likes and she would buy it. So that means a lot. You just have to trust me. So yes, I would definitely um, buy more of those. The oh L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I liked this. I would definitely buy this again. However, I haven't been into my brow pencils lately. I've been into the brow powders, as you probably know if you watch my videos. But this was a good brow pencil. I liked it. Similar to the NYX Micro Brow, which I also like. I would probably still choose the NYX Micro Brow if I had to pick, but this one from L'Oreal is nice too. Okay, then I have a few mascaras. I've definitely been through more mascaras than this, but I think some of my other ones must have gotten thrown away without getting put in my empties, but oh well. The ones that I have here I'll share. The Too Faced Better Than Sex in the brown color. I liked this, um, but I would not buy this one again. If I was gonna buy this type of mascara, I would do YSL Lash Clash in brown because the wands are very similar. They both have kind of an hourglass shaped wand and I just prefer the look of the Lash Clash over this, but this was not bad. I just like the Lash Clash better. Oh, and my next one is a brown Lash Clash. Yes, this is, um, if I want full volume, like intense lashes, this is the one. This is not a natural mascara. It's not an everyday mascara for me. It's very intense. It adds a lot of thickness and fullness to your lashes, which, I like depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing in terms of makeup. But yes, I would I would definitely buy this again. And finally, the Maybelline Falsy Surreal Mascara. Yes, I would absolutely buy this again. This is probably, this is in my top two drugstore mascaras. The e.l.f. Lash and Roll and this one. I love love loved this and I actually do want to buy this again because I really enjoyed it. it has just a standard wand it's not curved or anything but I really like this formula it adds some volume but it adds length too I really enjoyed it it does not smudge or flake on me it's a really great drugstore mascara so yes I will buy this again all right guys that is everything in this very large empties. Let me know how often you like to see empties videos because I find that I'll think to myself, yeah, I need to film an empties video, but then I have certain products that I'm like, oh, I'm really close to finishing this up. Let me just wait until I finish this. And then before you know it, months have passed and I'm just continuing to collect more and more things. So. Let me know how often you like to see empties. I know some people do like a full year of empties and then show it at the end of the year. I could do six months, I could do every few months. Let me know what you think, how often you like to see them, but I do think they're helpful. I feel like you really know, you can speak to a product if you've used it all the way up, you know what I mean? So 
I hope you enjoyed this. I will have everything that I do like and recommend linked in the description box for you. They are affiliate links that support my channel if you use them. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.